Welcome to the new episode of Flora in the Kitchen. This is Flora Eduardo Olayan. I am living here in Italy for more than 10 years. We will now introduce to you the authentic Italian carbonara. I am not used to speak English, but in this episode, we will use English language for my viewers from different countries. It is said and believed that Italian carbonara is the real carbonara. It does not use cream and bacon and not garnish with greens like parsley and basil leaves. There are some variations of real Italian carbonara. Like, for example, it depends upon the territory. In some areas near the sea, they have seafood carbonara. Then they have mountain versions of carbonara, which is called carbonara terolese. It was introduced by Chef Norbert Niederkoffler. So those are two variations of real Italian carbonara. And the authentic one is from the Roman cuisine. The Roman spaghetti a la carbonara. But before we continue, don't be confused with real and the authentic. Real is different from authentic. Real means true, not counterfeit, not fake, originally Italian. While authentic means same origin as claim, reliable ones, trustworthy, and uses exact materials. Now, let's quickly review the ingredients of the authentic Italian carbonara. We need spaghettoni, the bigger size of the spaghetti. Pecorino Romano, D.O.P. The eggs. The chick of the pork called guanciale. This is cured meat. Salt to be added to the water to cook the pasta. And the freshly ground black pepper. Okay. Now let's go to cooking. I have here a pasta pot with insert. We will add abundant water to boil the spaghetti pasta. This is the insert, the pasta strainer. Let's fill this with water. If it is a 6 liter pot, just add 5 liters of water to give space for the pasta. Let's prepare our pan. This is a high-sided skillet, 34 cm range, but you may use any pan available in your kitchen. Let's turn on the gas stove and boil the water. While boiling the water for pasta, prepare the guanciale and other ingredients. This guanciale is covered with spices. That's why this side has dark color. We will now remove its rind or skin. Then, slice and cut into chunks. The slice should not be too thin, too thick. The chunk width is about 1 third inch by 1 half inch. The length is about 1 and 1 half inches. Let's remove the untidy part if you prefer to have a good uh, slice of meat. We need 50 grams guanciale per serving. So, for 3 servings or 3 persons, we need a total of 150 grams. This guanciale is very very fat. We should not exaggerate its portion. Now, put the guanciale in our pan and cook it on medium heat. Once the pan is heated, turn the burner to low flame and we will slow cook the meat till it becomes evenly browned, not necessarily crispy. Just brown the meat through slow cooking and stir it from time to time. Releasing the fat's oil. Now the meat is slightly brown. And the water is now boiling. Add salt, 1 teaspoon or 5 grams per 1 liter. We should add salt after the water turns to a boil. Let's stir our meat quickly then prepare the pasta. Let the water and salt boil for a minute. For 3 servings, we need a total of 330 grams pasta. The range is 100 grams to 120 grams per person. Again, a quick stir to our meat. I'm just giving you a whole picture how to maximize time, no dull moment. Preparation and cooking time is quick and very short. Now add a spaghetti to our boiling water. If we want to taste the authentic carbonara, do not overcook the pasta. Follow the instruction how the Italians cook the spaghetti. They say never never put oil in boiling spaghetti or any pasta. The oil has nothing to do with pasta. Just stir it from time to time 
to separate each strand of spaghetti and should be served immediately after cooking. We must all be ready to come to our dining table at least 5 minutes before the carbonara is done. We will boil the pasta for 11 minutes, sempre al dente or always al dente. Now while boiling the spaghetti, prepare the sauce. They say that during the oldest times, for one person, you need only one egg. And the modern Italians use only the yolks. But most older procedure use two whole eggs plus one yolk for two servings. So let's follow the older procedure. That, for two persons, add two eggs plus one yolk. So, for three persons, add three eggs plus two yolks. Let's now prepare the pecorino romano. Grate 150 grams Roman pecorino, the pecora cheese. Pecora means sheep, tupa in Filipino language. Beat the eggs before adding the pecorino cheese. Reminder, using measuring cups, add 2 cups pecorino cheese. But if you use weighing scale, Add 130-250 grams of pecorino cheese. Then, start adding the cheese little by little after the eggs was beaten. So now, turn off the burner first. Then, get the spaghettoni from the pasta pot. Add them directly to the pan. Stir immediately. Mix them well for just one minute. We need and it's very very important to lower slightly the temperature of the pan and the spaghetti before adding the egg pecorino cheese sauce. But do not cool it down completely. It's just that the egg sauce should not be cooked like a scrambled eggs. Its sauce should be creamy. Okay, now sprinkle with freshly ground black pepper. Lots of pepper. The Romans love it, as well as Filipinos. Now, let's add the sauce and mix well, but stir it quickly. Okay, done. Serve it immediately. We will prepare now the plating. I am not a chef. I don't know how to use perfectly these tweezer tongs or these chef pliers. What matters most is to show you the right cookwares and utensils to use. It's up to you now if you will use those which are available in your kitchen. Now, top with freshly ground black pepper and finish it with pecorino cheese. No greens, no parsley leaves. Garnish with guanciale chunks. Okay. Now, it's time to taste it. Reminder again, pecorino cheese is salty as well as the guanciale. This recipe is very rich and very tasty.
Okay, let's now continue eating the authentic Italian carbonara. It's creamy. <laughs> Try to do it in your home. Try to cook it and forbid yourself how delicious it is. I hope you enjoy our episode today and learn something new. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment if you have suggestions and other any kind words to express. See you around and thank you for watching! So this is my son. He wants uh, to taste the authentic carbonara. Mmm! Mmm! Ibang iba talaga yung... Ang tag dito, guanciale. Ibang iba talaga yung guanciale sa pancetta, ibang lasa, mas masarap, mas malinam na, mas madaming taba. Iba sud do sa carbonara ni Luluto ko. <laughs> mas masarap. Mas masarap ito? Mm. Ito gay inyo, busing ko na rin. <laughs> <laughs> Sarap eh.